free to succeed. Uh, yay, Internet Edition. Um, but Internet Issues won't last very much longer edition because on the 26th, I'm having them come out and install Internet in here for me edition. So this will be a thing of the past soon. We will, we will uh, get back to being able to upload on time every day, getting our streams uh, every day like we were doing. Um, this this hit, this hit or miss stuff with the internet will be a thing of the past uh, after the 26th. So <clears throat> a few more days of this potentially, and then we'll be good. Won't be a big deal. Um, let's see, man. What is going on today? Is there anything in the announcements? What do we got? Um, Halloween costume design and makeup contest. Okay. All right. Well, they're doing another. They, they got a lot of contests going on right now, don't they? Or no, 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 no. Wait. Maybe they just announced all the ones they were going to do. And now they're actually happening. Maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. Either way. Fun. Fun stuff. There you go. Have at it. Oh, I didn't get my third. Oh, that's right. I didn't get my third key in. So I thought I got my keys in yesterday morning. And then yesterday evening, I hopped back on to put in my third key. And I still had two keys. And I was like, well, that doesn't seem right. Based on how every other day is gone. <sighs> Yuck. <coughs> so, um, I would have had to stay up till like two in the morning to get my third key in. So we didn't do it. Um, we are here. I've tried to let them um, auto the stage a few times. They can't. They've gotten them down to like here or her down to here a few times. Um, maybe I'll, maybe I'll manual it later. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. What else? We did a, Darth and I did a pretty fun video yesterday. Uh, we were going to do a follow-up today. I don't know if my internet's going to let me. It's, it's, it's really hard to tell what I'm going to be able to do these days. But again, very temporary. Also, real quick, um, some of you are going to see this energy up here, and I know some of you are going to freak out about it. Um... I haven't really used any energy in maybe a week. It's been a, it's been a minute since I've used any energy. Um, you can go backwards in the episodes and watch my energy stockpile. Um, I didn't buy any energy. I haven't been given any energy. It's just been piling up because I haven't been using it. So that's why I have uh, as much as I have right now. Uh, what else, dude? There was one more thing I was going to say. Got to start making notes, which sometimes I make notes. I think what happens is my, my mic sits right here. Well, I'll give you all some behind the scenes shit today. My mic sits like right here. And the way that I sit, I stick post-it notes on the bottom of my monitor. My mic blocks that line of sight from, from the way that I sit. I can't see the bottom of my monitor. Everything from like the bottom of my monitor to the top of my keyboard, my microphone blocks out the way it sits. But I can't put them up here. I guess I could, because then I would definitely see it and I'd have to move it. And then maybe that would make me uh, acknowledge it. Maybe I'll have to figure out an, another thing. I've also wanted to put like a whiteboard back here above my monitor where I could write certain things on it. Like remembering to say, like the video. That's something I don't do that I mean to do pretty regularly. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to subscribe and like the video. That helps a lot. There we go. Now the braid's, now the braid's working. So what I think what I think is going to happen with this energy stockpile I've got, since there's nothing really going on and we've got a fusion coming up, I'm just going to sit on it for the fusion and have a pretty good head start. Uh, we, we should be in pretty good shape for this fusion. We've got a decent amount of gems, plenty of energy. Uh, we're sitting on a nice little pile of shards for the events that should come up. Uh, we should be in good shape for this fusion. This should be a relatively easy one for us. So uh, I think we're just going to continue to let the resources pile. Now. What we're doing today is, uh, is is getting started on this gear cleanse. So I haven't done any of it. I, 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 I think I said at one point I might come in and do a little bit of it. Um, just the real quick early stuff. But I decided we're just going to do the whole... You get to see the whole process. So what I generally like to do before I get started here is go through my new gear. Because I think generally new gear is pretty uh, is a bit easier to sort. <laughs> Now, 
it matters a lot where you're at in the game when you begin a gear cleanse. That's a really important thing <clears throat> to note. So I'm gonna sort through my new gear. I'm gonna keep the stuff that seems interesting to me. And then we're gonna talk about the beginning stages of the, of the process of a gear cleanse. And then over the next few days, we're gonna go through it, okay? Everybody's got different ways of doing this, I'm sure. Um, so if you can get more insight from other players, it's probably not a bad idea. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. So let's go through real quick and knock this out. Now, <clears throat> I'll talk a little bit about what I'm doing here. This is, this is sleep set. I don't use sleep set a ton. So I know that like the five star shields and the five star helmets and probably even the six star rare helmets, I don't care, helmets I don't care about. Don't care about that, don't care about that, don't care about that, don't care about that. I use the set occasionally. I don't use it enough to justify keeping a bunch of pieces, right? It's gonna have to be a pretty solid piece for me to keep it. Uh, frost set, I'm a fan of the set. I have a ton of frost gear. I, th I believe if I'm not mistaken, we have a ton of frost gear to sort through. Frenzy, another set that I really like. Um, but these rare pieces, I'm not super interested in. Uh, if this one didn't have attack and crit rate, I'd keep it because I do like resistance on my Frenzy pieces. Generally, when I'm using Frenzy, it's on someone that I also want to have resistance. Uh, but it, it's going to have to be a little bit of a better piece than that. So um, here, again, not a bad piece, but not for a Frenzy set. Not a bad piece necessarily, but not, not for a Frenzy set. Regen. Regen you can start keeping a little bit more of lately, right? So we've got quite a few pieces here, so I know that these rare pieces I can go ahead and just drop. I know that that one's got HP and crit rate on it. It's not a bad piece, but we've got other options. And I think I've already got some, some regen gear sitting here. So what I'm looking for on regen gear generally is HP percentage. There are gonna be outliers. So any, any nice pieces that could go on someone else, I'll keep. Um, but for the most part, I'm looking for substats that really have some synergy, right? Here we've got some speed, so I guess we'll keep it and roll it, even though the rest of that piece is terrible. Uh, this is a great piece, right? We've got HP, we've got accuracy, we've got defense percentage. Going to be great for a tank, um, which a lot of tanks are good candidates now for, for regen in certain situations. So um, That's not a bad piece. If I didn't have so many pieces like it in other sets, I'd keep it as a potential broken piece, but I know that I don't need it, right? Um... I'm trying to decide if I even want to keep that to roll the speed. I guess I will, but I, I'm not super into it. Immunity, I like, but I know, like, all these five-star pieces, probably not into. That one I'll keep, because that's not a bad piece. And uh, that one's got speed and resistance. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Shield, basically. Basically. If it doesn't have HP percentage, I don't want it. That's it. Again, there's exceptions to just about every rule that you can make here, but I would say almost in the same way that like speed gear needs to have speed, shield gear needs to have HP percentage, right? Because that's the whole point. You're trying to shoot whoever you're putting it on. You're trying to shoot their HP way up. Um, you may throw a shield set on someone for Seer to use in the waves, so it won't really matter how much HP is on it. Examples like that, it might be good to have different things, speed or attack stats or whatever it is you're looking for. But again... Those are exceptions. For the most part, you want your shield shit to have HP percentage. Uh, Relentless I have plenty of, and those suck anyway. Savage. Savage you can be a little bit lenient with. Savage can be kind of a tough set to build with. So you can be a little bit more loose with what you keep here. For example, crit rate, crit damage on this shield. I'm going to keep it for now because I don't know what I have sitting around. Um, we'll, we'll see what the Savage stock looks like when we get to it, but like, see that? That's great. This one I'm gonna keep too, cause I didn't see anything else with speed. Nah, I'm not gonna keep that. I don't need that. I don't need that, Never mind. But you could, you could if, if you were, depending on your situation, weapon with speed, potentially 15 speed there. Fine. Stun set, I think I have plenty of, so I'm just gonna kinda click through these. None of those really jump out at me as ones I need to keep. Toxic set, yeah. Avenging set. Is okay but again i think i have plenty not interested in any of that stalwart i have way too much of so i'm not even going to look at these i know that none of those five star pieces are going to be make or break pieces uh so they're gone curing i'm not using much those suck anyway cruel i have a ton of but that's a good piece so i'm keeping divine offense i don't think anyone uses it ever <laughs> uh but that's not a bad piece maybe maybe we'll find something to do with that set divine life HP and HP shield, crit rate, 
Um, it can stay for now. And then Swift Perry. Swift Perry is a set. Swift Perry is perhaps the set that gives you the most wiggle room in the game. I feel like because of what Swift Perry does with its unkillable, for what you're usually going to be using Swift Perry for, I think that you can keep the most Swift Perry pieces usually. Like even 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 garbage pieces <laughs> you can put to use. So Swift Perry, um, <laughs> we'll keep those. So there's our new pieces. We'll sell, we, we filtered out through all our new pieces. I don't know why now. Wait, is it, okay, the red dots are gone. Okay, now, what I like to do at the beginning of a gear cleanse is I like to just come in and get a get a quick look <clears throat> at what each set is looking like. Like wh which sets do I have way too much of? Like lifesteal, I've got way too much of. I do not need that. I don't need that much accuracy. I don't need this much crit damage. I have too much of everything. That's why my storage is full, right? Um, but I like to get an idea of like what I'm looking at, how many pieces of each set I have generally, um, just so that as I'm going through, I kind of know like what I'm working with and what sets I need to be a little bit more strict about, right? Like lifesteal is going to be one that I'm going to need to be pretty tight about because uh, about what I'm willing to keep because I've got so much of it and I don't need so much of it, right? Um, like destroy, we got way too much destroy. Again, we have way too much everything. Um, yeah, see, I mean, we haven't really ever done a gear cleanse on this account, account, I don't think. So we've got a ton of gear to go through. So, some people, um, there, there's different ways to do this. Sometimes I, I, I used to go through one set at a time, right? So I would come up to the top, I would collapse everything, and then I would go through and clear out one set. What I've kind of taken a liking to lately is doing um, like at most two pieces at a time. So like weapons and helmets, then I'll do shield and gloves, right? I have so much gear to go through, I'm gonna do it one piece at a time. I feel like that's gonna give me a better idea of what I'm looking at, help me focus in a little bit better. Um, just help me kind of visually work out what I have. So let's open it all up. Life, you don't really use this set much, honestly. Especially because you have other sets that do what it does and more. Um, so, unless a piece is really, really good, honestly, you don't need to bother keeping it. You could keep a few pieces sitting around if you wanted to, but like, I know I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna use Immortal on, on someone, you know what I mean? or any of the other pieces that do what that one does and, and other stuff. Attack set, kind of the same situation. Um, it's kind of, it's almost kind of a bummer that, that some of these sets like this just become kind of not really worth anything. One of the cool things about Summoner's War was even later in the game, there were still mo monsters, champions, that you were gonna put energy runes on, which is life, artifacts here right it's still called for it i had i had some very late game champs um that had energy on them you know what i mean so they kind of stay viable to a degree whereas here they don't really like i, I guess situationally you know what i mean like if you don't want to be healing against a torment or something i don't even know if torment's passive procs immortal heals and stuff but like i don't know if there's spe very specific things like that maybe you'd want to consider it but I'm not worried about that right now. So, um, here we've got one that already has attack on it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Uh, I'll keep a couple of these sitting around though. That one's got a decent amount of crit rate on it. Speed and crit damage, speed and attack. I'll let those three sit there. I'm not too bent up about keeping those three. Generally, unless it's like a premium set, if I can, I, I like to keep it to one row for each piece tops. Some some sets will, will will get a little bit more leniency, and if I've got enough good pieces of a set, then you know I'm not I'm not just going to sell great pieces to force that. But that's generally what I'm shooting for, right? Uh, defense. That's that's not anything I'm going to use on anyone. 
Uh, speed and crit rate. Maybe. Maybe I'll find a spot for that on someone, right? Here we've got speed. So I'm going to sell this one because I, I pretty much don't want speed pieces unless they have speed, right? If I'm putting a speed set on somebody, it's because I want them to be fast. And I'm going to want them to have all the extra speed they can get, so... Despite double minimum rolls, um, we're going to keep it. See, like this one, not interested. I don't even know why I have it and why it's maxed out. Earlier in the game, too, you can be a little bit more lenient with stuff like that. But I'm at a point now where it's, it's time to start getting real picky. Crit damage, crit rate, and attack on a crit rate piece, that's fine. Attack speed and crit rate, that's fine. Um, that's probably worth keeping. Depends... So we, we, we're down in one row, so we can justify keeping these, but now we're going to look at like how many of the same thing do we have, right? Like, like, for example, this is the same piece. This is just a legendary version of it, and it's not being used currently. So there's no reason for me to keep this one. I said legendary. I meant six star version of it. There's no reason to keep this, right? I've already got, I've already got that piece with better rolls. So we're getting rid of that. So we've got crit rate, crit damage, crit rate, crit damage, crit rate, crit damage. So here we've got crit rate, crit damage, and attack. Here we've got flat HP. The flat HP can go. Um, this is not a bad piece. However, if I'm gearing someone for crit rate, if I'm, if I'm putting a crit rate set on someone, I think I want some, a little bit of crit rate, right? At least a little bit of crit rate. Kind of like a speed set. So I'm, I'm, I'm content with that. Also, again, we can we can be a little bit looser with what we get rid of here because it's a crit rate set, right? Um, I'm, not, I'm not using it a ton, really. Crit damage. Let's see what we got here. Crit damage and accuracy, speed and attack. Crit damage and accuracy again. So definitely one of these is going to go before we even make it through. I'm not, I, don't, I don't need two of the same piece unless it's amazing. Uh, crit rate, accuracy, and attack. Um, HP and crit rate. Crit damage is kind of an interesting set because it, it can be used in a lot of different places. Let's see what this does. Where does this go? Okay, we can let that sit. So like this one, I don't I don't necessarily know that I care to have this one, honestly. Um, that one's fine. I mean, if unless we just like double or triple up on resistance here, we can find something to do with this one. I almost kind of think we got to see if, if we can get this here. Yeah, that's nice. That's not bad at all. Even if it hits resistance on the last one, that's 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 not too bad. Here we've got a crit rate roll. We'll keep it. Crit damage and attack. And then HP. I, I think we can let these sit. I think... Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I feel like this one can go. This one will never go. This one stays in the account forever, just so we're all clear. <laughs> uh, I don't know how how many of you have been around long enough to remember getting this, but uh, I, I will never sell this piece, ever. So I think this is a decent enough stock to, to sit on. I, I would like, to, I, I kind of would like to get rid of one more, if I'm honest. I would like to get one more out of here. problem is none of them are similar enough I'm gonna let them sit I'm, I'm, I'm fine letting this sit accuracy accuracy you could be semi lenient with but I do like to have accuracy subs I'm not quite as strict on it as I am with speed sets and, and crit rate sets for example um, like this I'll let I'll let this stay um, 
speed is a, is a subset that can, that can kind of change things too, right? So if it's got speed on it, we're going to kind of let it sit. Also, speed and attack on an accuracy piece. When I, when I get to where I want to build a bomber, this is a great piece. And when, you know, they're, they're transitioning out of bombers needing crit rate all the time. Um, but when, you know, if your bomber needs crit rate, this is a great piece, uh, even though it doesn't have accuracy. Uh, here we've got some accuracy. Here we got a little speed. Here we got some accuracy. Um, and there we've got, eh, let's just get rid of this one. That puts us down to our one row that we try to hit. We can move on. I'm pretty happy with that. Resistance. <clears throat> That's not a bad piece. Let me think about that one. Resistance, resistance. Res crit rate, triple crit rate, we're also will keep it in here. Um, I don't I don't hate any of these pieces, honestly. I, I reckon since we've already got one of these, we can get rid of this one. I'm going to keep this. There may be some champs that I'm going to build at some point that I want to have accuracy and resistance, and this might be a piece that helps me achieve that. So we're going to let that piece sit. Lifesteal. Lifesteal I know I want to get rid of a lot of. So bam, 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 bam. Don't care what they look like. They're gone. Now let's go through what we have up here. Um... That's probably gonna go. This is okay, that can stay. That can stay. Stay, stay. Stay, this one I don't like. I don't, I don't care about that. We are, we are pretty deep in this video. We may have to pick this up tomorrow. I wanted to get to the weapons, but this is gonna take a while. We may have to do part two of the weapons tomorrow. This is gonna probably gonna end up being quite the series. <laughs> um, yeah, let's wrap this one up here. I don't want these videos to get too insanely long. You guys let me know in the comments if you're still here. Um, if you want me to keep these to, to the normal length or for what I'm doing with the gear cleanse, if you want me to be willing to go a little bit longer to maybe get through each piece a day. So like tomorrow, if, if, if I get enough comments saying you guys don't mind the longer episodes for this. Um, and the reason I say that is because if I make longer episodes and you guys only watch eight minutes of it, uh, it's bad for me. <laughs> so if you are interested and want to watch these longer, uh, let me know for real. And then tomorrow we'll, we'll finish the weapons no matter how long it takes. Then the next day we'll do all the helmets, all the shields, and however long it takes is how long it'll take, okay? You guys have to let me know though. Otherwise, I'm going to try to keep it at, a, at a, about a normal length. And uh, we'll just, it'll just take as long as it takes, you know what I mean? Um, so that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this is helping some of you. Um, I know we've got a, a players of a lot of different skill levels here watching this series. Uh, I hope that there's enough of you watching that are in a place in the game where this is doing something to help you. Uh, just remember, you have to apply to a degree where you're at in the game and what your gear situation looks like. So you can't go through and do exactly what I'm doing because I might be in a different part of the game than you're in right now. But hopefully I'm, I'm, I'm giving you principles that you can apply and thought processes you can um, adopt to, to, to work on this yourself. So uh, any questions you have, drop them below. Uh, when I get to stream again, you can come over to the stream at twitch.tv slash jgigs and ask me some questions. Uh, you can check out the Patreon if you want. I've got details in my Discord, which is linked below about the Patreon. If you want me to get into your account and do things like gear cleanses and reworks and all that stuff. Um, plenty of options here. So that's it. I'm done rambling. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope it's helpful and, uh, and we'll see you tomorrow.